Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for another Oracle and Tarot card deck review. And today I will be reviewing The Influence of the Angels Tarot by Jody Bogjinski Barbesi. And this is a beautiful, beautiful tarot deck that I saw online, and I had to order it. And I just received it about 10 minutes ago. Uh, so I'll be reviewing it for the first time as I'm opening the box with you. Uh, first of all, very nice box. And I like the gold detailing to it. Very, very well made to protect your cards. And let's take a look at what's inside. We have a very nice guidebook. Uh, and the guidebook is a matte finish. Okay, And inside the guidebook, they're going to tell you about the major arcana. Okay, the angel, the symbols, the direct meaning, and the shadow meanings. And then it's going to go into the actual cards. And it's going to be a black and white picture. Okay, it's going to tell you the name of the angel. Okay, the symbols. And it's just going to be a very small picture. Okay, and it's going to give you the direct meaning, the shadow meaning, and the angelic meaning. And it's going to go through all 78 cards, as you can see. Okay. Nice, nice, well-made guidebook, and this guidebook is, let's see, it's about 170, oh, we even have card spreads back here, very nice touch, it's going to be approximately 180 pages, and we have some information about the authors, okay, and then let's take a look at the cards. Okay, let me just take this packaging off just a minute. Oh, having a little bit of a hard time here. I should have brought my scissors. <laughs> Just rip this open. Okay, here we go. I hesitate sometimes to use sharp objects for fear I'm going to damage the cards. Look at the gilding on that. Is that amazing? Wow. <laughs> okay, doesn't look like I want to trim these cards. That's a beautiful, beautiful touch. I think I'm going to leave them as is. Okay, first of all, very nice backing. Okay, nice blue design. Uh, card quality is decent. Oh, and the size of the cards. Okay, average size card, not too big. Okay, and I, I rather slender card like that. I don't like monstrous cards. My hands aren't the smallest, they're not the biggest, but I rather a smaller card. And let's go through the artwork on these. How beautiful is that? Kind of reminds me of the Golden Tarot. Was it the Golden Tarot? Yeah, I'm almost positive that's what I'm thinking of. And I like the ornate border. Love, love, love the gilding. The only thing is sometimes this gilding does start to uh, peel off. So I have to keep an eye on that. And if it starts to happen, then, you know, maybe I'll trim them. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep them just as is. We have the Fool, the Magician. I was just so taken by this artwork when I saw this deck of cards online. Look at how beautiful that is. The High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, Chariot. Now we're used to the Chariot where they're in a Chariot. She's not. Looks like she's holding on to the reins here, but you do not see the actual Chariot. But we do have the two steeds, the two horses down here. Strength, of course, the woman with the lion. The hermit, love, love, love this card. It's usually the hermit or the tower that will make or break a deck for me. They're my two favorite cards. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The hanged man. Death. Interesting death card. We don't have the devil on here or, or anything too scary. <laughs> Temperance, 
the devil. And there we are with the devil. And the tower, look at how magnificent that is. Is that amazing? Sorry, there's some blue on here. It's from my HD camera that's shining on the picture. The star, how beautiful. It has such a tranquil, gentle, peaceful energy emitting from this card. How beautiful. The moon. The sun. I wish I had this deck when I was doing the top 10 tarot decks that I just put out that video. This would have definitely been in the tarot deck. Um, top 10 judgment. Can't believe I've never seen this deck before. I'm blown away by it. It's everything that I would I would imagine it to be. Beautiful artwork, nice gilding, nice border, the world, ace of cups, two of cups. It has like an old world feel to it too, like a vintage type feel. Three of cups, four of cups, five of cups, six of cups, seven of cups. It's a very gentle tarot deck. Eight of cups, nine of cups, ten of cups, page of cups, knight of cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, Four of Swords. Normally we see the person lying down in this depiction. He's sitting up, but just the same. He looks very tired. And the expressions on their faces are interesting too. Five of Swords looks like a very traditional Five of Swords. But I like the, the face up here. How interesting is that? Like looking down on what's going on. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Wow. Then we go on to the Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. I mean, the artwork is just so, so beautiful. Queen of Swords. King of Swords. Now, I'd prefer that the King of Swords had a sword in his hand, and I would prefer that the Queen of Swords had a sword in her hand. But other than that, pictures are beautiful. But I always like to see the suits as part of the court cards. King of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Let me have some pentacles down here at least. And he has one here. Very nice. Queen of Pentacles. We have one here. King of Pentacles. And he's holding one. Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. However, it looks like she only has one wand. Okay, there's one here in the background. I see. Three of Wands, Four of Wands, what a beautiful picture that is. Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands. And again, we're used to seeing the, the wands in the air. In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight horses. So this is a different take on it as well. Okay, very interesting. Some of the cards are traditional, like the Rider Waite deck, and some of them have a different take like this. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. And normally we would see this on the back, but he's holding these upright, which is still a nice picture. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. King of Wands, 
And we have the minor arcana number meanings and the suit meanings, which are two extra little reference cards, which are very nice to keep out if you're just learning. Uh, and let's see how these cards shuffle. I'm still amazed at that gold gilding. <laughs> very easy to shuffle. Very, very beautiful deck. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. Different, unique. Like I said, it kind of reminds me, is it of the golden tarot that I have? I don't know. It had an old world feel to it, whatever deck it was. But this is a welcome addition to my ever-growing tarot deck. And I am very, very satisfied uh, with my purchase. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back with